Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more so now we are here in Duncan Bay and the task that I want to take is in experience driver. So let's deliver to the plant on the coast. I think the care plant on the coast. It's this one, so I sent it. And then for CLD nine thousand, which is stuck here. So you want this to go there, but we will be starting from here. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Dan 96320 with a saddle high. And we're going to go here, get a long wire trailer, drive it here. I think I'm going to go like this. And then come here, load the truck onto the long boy, and then go like this, and then here, and then here, and here. Now, the reason we choose to go with the long boy is here. You know, just for fun, you can just drag it there. But then, you've done that too many times, so... I was gonna change this to that a saddle high and sell this to get some of our cash back. That's cool, that's cool. And we we'll leave. And um, before we do, uh, let's just mark our way. So we're gonna go this way, this way, this way, that way. As the road curves, we're gonna go this way, this way. This way through this bridge, through here, and then end here. Then go this way with the trailer, of course. And then end up here to go like so. Out and here, and then go here again. So you can go straight here, and then probably that. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, easier said than done. But yeah. That's it. I feel that uh, we're wasting the dance potential while doing the mission like this. There we go. We used all our cuts and we exhausted pretty much uh, all the good ones. Actually, this is a good truck, don't get me wrong. But yeah, that happens. So probably that's why we didn't use them, or we did use them. I don't actually remember. The good thing is we always on this lot with a fuel consumption. Fuel consumption is eight liters, nine liters a minute, which is actually I want to do a brand body add-on on this one. Since they repaired the truck as well, but since it doesn't need the repairs. We will stick to the toy. Also, uh, with the dam, we get a lot of uh, power to weight ratio, which is what we are looking for in this mission, frankly. I could have gone with a Zix, you know, but uh, it's one of those choices where you know, when you automatically go with Zix, get the job done. But then again, just for the sake of variety. Mm. But more so, you know, just to add a little bit of challenge to this, I decided to go with the dam. Because if you see, frankly, that there is uh, nothing much to this task. You just go to where the truck is, you just drag it. Of course, uh, so it's no runner, so it's going to give you this muddy patches and whatnot. And, yeah. But yeah, that's it. There's nothing if no, not the distance, it's not too far away. It's not in the other map that it is to do. It's just, I mean, it's a fair task. But yeah, since we've completed all the contracts, we might as well just do these. That's why I haven't uploaded in a few days. Because frankly, these stars, uh, other stars, they're not fun. They used to, two years ago, you know, where I would sit down and read every, every single task and upload it. But I've been playing Snowdown so long that, you know, it's making a bridge and just dragging a truck from one place to another. Um, it doesn't interest me anymore.
Anyway, this is where our challenge comes in. Yep, the dam doesn't have a clear suspension. And although it's uh, always on the floor, blah 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 blah, it is going to struggle here. So we keep to this side of the thing. Yeah. Drive it like this and out. And if they're through here, they're through. There you go. That's it. Done. Straight away into high gear, no problem. Is there. Is pushing through. So the drop off point has somehow appeared before the pickup point. Usually, this thing appears when we have cargo. Or probably it does appear anyway. Never noticed. Let's go back to the water, see if it up some speed. Advanced special gear motion this one. Probably faster than high range. Sorry, probably faster than high gear, not high range. High range is definitely faster. So the Dan just won't give up. It is just really spinning in the mud, but it won't quit. Yeah, a good truck. A very good truck indeed. It's a shame we didn't get a chance to use this on this map. Up until now. Let's say it's a shame that we didn't use it up until now. And since we don't have to come all the way back, you know, we will just use the long boy. And that would be just a fun ride from where we have to come back to where we have to do it. And I think we reached the point. Uh, no, actually not. I was going to say we reached the point where we can see the trailer store, but no. I forgot that there's this bridge as well. Yep, yeah, chain tires and all. No problem. Also, empty truck. Empty truck will always go to the highest gear. No problem. Is this the fastest it can go? I think yes. This is the fastest it can go. So this is our trailer stop. We are looking for... Heavy duty long wall. Failed to attach to the duty insufficient space. Okay. So we will give you more space. And then again. Cool. Let's go get the car.
I think we just make things difficult for us because now the touch is longer than I was expecting it to be. Also, this this waste of space, you know, adding to the length of it. But uh, it is what it is. We are in this now. Can I even make it past the first hurdle? I've got chain tires and stuff. Are they any good? Oh well. I've got inch points all around. So, not too bad, but not too good either. This uh, access weight added with the long wire is not helping this truck. Chain tires or not, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be uh, as uh, maneuverable as this X. Or maybe I'm expecting too much. I don't even know where I got stuck. I don't even want to know where I got stuck. I just want to get going. Oh, you know, here's the Phoenix. Thank you for repairing those poles, you know, there were hurdles. At least now that the poles are upright, you know, you don't have to go around this where, you, where this pole was initially. Just love it how you always in strong feet. Person with the extra time to that one. And uh, damn failing, you know, in these mud is just. <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually just adding meaning to this otherwise useful, useless task. And here we will add more meaning. Where is the top? The question is how far is stuck is it? It's quite badly stuck. Let's hope that all will drive. Blah 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 is to our advantage. I hope it's not quick death murder. Thankfully, there are too many inch points. So, that is that. Okay, now where will this thing be? Can I do that? And the chain suspension here. Oh and then do um, no, 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 no. 
Dodge Trailer, Tattoo Lab. <coughs> the handrail is on and then for listen. I think uh, we detach from here and the it's not actually aligned. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We align with them first, and they're making it worse. We are aligned now. I think. Yeah. Uh, I have to see. There are these points, uh, but I'm not sure if they align. Okay. So we do this next. Not bad. Okay, and then we do this. So pull the truck up. So the long boy was brought here for a reason. This is the reason. Activate ramp so the truck stays. Then we do uh, release. Then we do fast truck. Then we get rid of that. Then we look for a thumbnail, which is that. Actually, I want to take it down also. So that we that. Everything is set. Everything is done. Let's go. Now that the truck is packed, I need not worry about, you know, how I can pull the truck and whatnot. Now I'm just driving away with the trailer. So I just have to worry about my truck. That the truck will not fall. The truck will not go anywhere. I just have to worry about this. Whether my truck is powerful enough to take the truck on the trailer to where it needs to go. Thankfully, too many instruments. I kinda like the idea of long boy now, previously I thought this is a useless truck. And then previously I would just curse the ramped flatbed. Whenever I would take it to a rescue and then it won't and the truck won't fit because it's narrow. And then I would think that, you know, maybe this is just for the scout. Which which is somewhat true, you know, it is for the scouts. Because for the trucks, it is this trailer. Follow the windy road. Get stuck on our way. Winch ourselves out. Is that all? Yes. Okay, I like what's happening.
Is that enough power? Let's try that again. The answer is yes, that is enough power. Look at how the Ford is riding safely in the trailer. And all I need to worry about is how I'm going to make it there. Now, instead of winching a truck, dragging it, trying to stop the engine and whatnot, this is the more professional approach, actually. Yeah. This is the more professional approach. sure why this lead door is looking more difficult than the actual road that I just traveled. But thankfully I chose the truck right and I did choose a truck with a S plus rating for power to the future. Which is now coming in handy. One seventy six liters of fuel still remains. And frankly, I haven't talked about running out of fuel in this task once. Apart from this one. That's how confident I was in the dam. I knew it would deliver. Also got no, not almost. I did forget. Remember, it has an active suspension. Are things a little easier now that this suspension is raised? I don't know. It's too late to answer the question, the task is done anyway. <clears throat> so we have to come off there. Have to go all in. There it is. So your next video is driving expertise, it says great we fix the vehicles ourselves, here's your report. 344 experience are almost 3k for the effort. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like your content and I'm Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every day. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.